Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles update. Hi, I'm Nasir Ransom and this is Location Lifestyles. And I'm Emily Krause. Lady Gaga will perform a musical tribute to the famed late rocker David Bowie at this year's 58th Grammy Awards. Gaga has said time and time again that David Bowie has inspired her to be the eccentric and authentic artist that she is today. Bowie, who is famous for his moving lyrics and androgynous look in rock music, made him a legendary icon. He enjoyed a career that lasted over four decades, and he will surely be missed. Bowie passed away January 10th of this year in New York City after a long-time battle with cancer. And the Grammys air Monday, February 15th at 8 p.m. Well, we have more news on the new couple of Black China and Rob Kardashian. This past Friday evening, Black China was arrested mm. for public intoxication as well as possession of an illegal substance. Mm. China spent several hours in jail until boyfriend Robert Kardashian was there to save the day. He drove a whopping 26 hours just to pick her up. Wow, that's commitment. I know, and I can't even get a text back. In other news... <laughs> If you're all about spreading self-confidence and learning to love yourself while having fun at the same time, come out to the Be Beautiful Fashion Show. The Body Image Coalition here at Cabrini College is helping to stop body shaming one campus at a time. The self-empowering looks this year are Cabrini Spirit, Tattoo, Decorate a Be Beautiful T-Shirt, Shake It Off, Dress to Impress, and a 90s inspired theme. The 7th Annual Be Beautiful Fashion Show will be on February 11th at 8 p.m. in Grace Hall. A new and dangerous eating disorder is appearing on college campuses, even here at Cabrini. Let's take a closer look. Junkorexia is two separate um, issues combined into one. So people restrict their calorie intake, whether it's not eating at all or they purge, and they restrict their calories in order for them to be able to drink um, and replace those calories with alcohol that night or the following night. Um, because alcohol doesn't have like fat content, it, but it does have calories. So in order to maintain a healthy looking figure or a skinny figure, they, um, they supply their calorie intake with alcohol. According to a survey done on 12 Cabrini female students, 10 admitted to having drunkorexia during a night that they were drinking. But you should definitely go eat a meal, obviously, before you drink because you'll pass out essentially, and that's obviously not good for a girl because people can take advantage of you. You can have a lot of liver damage, you can have a lot of stomach pain, you can actually develop stomach ulcers. Um, you're drinking on an empty stomach, so you have a higher chance of getting alcohol poisoning and getting drunk extremely fast, and um, you can actually have cognitive behavioral issues um, because you're so intoxicated. I feel as though people are so wrapped up in body image and the way that others perceive them um, and how drunk they can get and how fast that they are willing to sacrifice food for that. So they should seriously maybe even like talk to a friend and sit her down and open up to her and say like I have this problem and even like that small step of opening up to like a dear friend of yours is taking a step to admit that you have an eating disorder and then she, maybe you can even get that friend to go with you to counseling with you because honestly if, if anybody came up to me and they told me that I had an eating disorder I would I would not mind going with them to go to counseling. Counseling Services is located in Grace Hall, room 174, for anyone who needs help battling this disorder. Well, I hope you all had a chance to tune in to Grease Live, which aired this past Sunday night on Fox. The production brought in 12.2 million viewers, with many famous stars playing the roles, including Vanessa Hudgens, who played Rizzo. It was announced Vanessa's father passed away of stage 4 cancer the same morning of the production. Before the production began, she tweeted, Tonight I do the show in his honor. It was really courageous of her to push all of her family issues aside and just do it for the fans. I agree. It really showed how professional she really could be. It was great. So, Nasir and I are going to be keeping our eyes out on who's got the best fashion sense here at Cabrini College. We'll be taking photos of students on campus that we believe are on trend with the recent fashion. If you're in the right place at the right time, we might just catch you while you're on fleek. So dress your best. <laughs> Thanks for watching Location Lifestyles. Be sure to check us out on our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Nasir Ransom. And I'm Emily Krause. Have a great week, Cabrini.